Well, school is out for winter at Camosun College and at Royal Roads University. Both of those institutions held their convocation ceremonies today, and hundreds of students crossed the stage to accept their degrees and diplomas. Now, for the graduates at Royal Roads, uh, for the most part, they're already well along in their careers. But for any new graduates entering the workforce, convocation day comes today. Amid that news, we told you about that unemployment is up. A News reporter Maggie Cox has the story. Today is a day that few of these happy people will ever forget as they graduate from Royal Roads University and Camosun College. But for many of them, beneath the smiles and cap and gown is a sense of anxiety as they accept their degrees and diplomas and head off into a world where unemployment is up and stable jobs are hard to come by. Yeah, there's not a lot of work out there right now, so it's kind of worrisome. Not too good. It took me, you know, a good two months to get a job and it's only a five-month contract and I'm I'm not guaranteed anything afterwards so for myself for my friends for you know my future children even it's uh yeah it's something that you got to worry about for sure take danielle whitney griffiths for example who after 10 months of schooling and fifteen thousand dollars in student debt is now looking to cash in on her educational investment and get a job in child care um, about working getting into the field yeah i'm a little bit nervous not sure what's out there so finding the right place and being able to live off of that. So basic wage for daycares isn't all that great. The fact that the national unemployment rate hit 8.6% in October isn't making Danielle's situation any easier. Proportionately, in Newfoundland, Alberta, and British Columbia suffered the most job losses in October. British Columbia's unemployment rate rose from 7.4% to 8.3%, and Victoria's rose from 6.1% to 6.4%. The hardest hit sector was manufacturing, where employment declined by 11% across the country in October. Economists say job loss in the beginning stages of an economic recovery isn't uncommon, but most weren't expecting loss of this magnitude. You know, students are coming into this maybe a year or so ago, looking over their shoulder, thinking, you know, things changed dramatically for that age group. The world was their oyster. They could pick and choose, and suddenly things turned around a year ago. Yates says in tough times, it's important to get creative, to network, and often to go back to class, which many people are doing at Camosun, where the student's median age has increased by a half a year and enrollment is up more than 10% this year. In Saanich, Maggie Cox, A News.